I know y'all are probably like, this girl like is in love with her purses. Like she's talking to them, she's kissing them, she's insane. Let's go. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena. You get it corny, I know, but you know, that's just how we are here. So if you're new here, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I don't like long intros, so we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into it, okay? So the last time I did this video was back in 2020. I did a purse collection haul. It's still up on my channel. If you haven't seen it, I will go ahead and link it somewhere up here in the cards for your viewing pleasure. Anyways, I have expanded a lot when it comes to my purses. I love purses. I'm like a purse whore, okay? So the first brand I'm gonna start with is Telfar because I have the most of those bags in the same brand, so we're just gonna start with that, right? We're gonna start with the very first one that I got, which is right here. I do keep all my dust bags for Telfar. I have three of them right now. So this was my very, very first one, and I secured it through the bag security program, which is when Telfar does any bag any color any size and you just have to basically wait until it ships pr pretty much so the, this is the first one I got which is this gray let me get it I wear her often so if you watch the vlogs or anything like that then you all already have seen this bag some of these bags you are gonna have seen you will have already seen excuse my language if you watch the vlogs but if not you know here we go. Um, this is the first bag. So this is my Telfar bag. This is in a size small, and this is how deep it is. This bag is almost my everyday go-to bag. I know y'all are probably like, this itty bitty thing is your everyday go-to bag? Yeah. So all I really carry is my phone, my adapter to get my footage off of the camera onto my phone, <laughs> some tissue, my uh, card wallet, and my keys. That can fit in here. Oh, and a lip gloss. All that can fit in here, and I usually don't have any problem. Oh, and also my vlog camera can fit in here. Y'all know I have an Osmo Pocket. I'll link that down below as well if you're interested in what vlogging camera I use. But yeah, all that can fit in here. It's not heavy when it's all in here, and I just wrap her like across like this, and I just wear her just like this. Okay, we love her. She's a showstopper. Now I wear her often because I wear silver a lot. I should have honestly got the silver one, but I just didn't want to do too much, so I didn't, so I got the gray. So I usually pair her with silver accessories, and yeah, I, that's why I gravitate toward her so much, because I wear silver a lot. I don't have gold on today a little bit, but I really am a silver girl, okay? So this is the first bag I got. I do like her. She doesn't have any pockets, okay? But we're gonna get into that. So when they did the bag security program for the second time, I wanted to go ahead and grab this bag. Now this one is clearly way, way bigger, okay? Bigger than my head, all right? So y'all know I got a big head, okay? So again, I keep all my dust bags, so. It came like this, and y'all already know already, especially if you already seen my collective haul that came out before this, and you all have seen this already. And it is just this orange tail far bag. It's huge, okay, huge. Um, it also has the same straps as the little one. So it has this so we can wear it um, across the body, but I do wear it just straight up and down like this. I wear it just like this on my hip. And you can also carry it like this and then just tuck the straps in. Now what I do wish that Telfar would do is make these straps removable because I mean, they're huge. <laughs> if you go inside the bag, obviously it's very deep because it's a tote, but it does have a zipper on the inside here. So if you need more space or more organization, then you can go ahead and fill that up as well and then it has the logo inside just like the little one so i well i still have the plastic i still have the plastic on the clasp here that's how new this is wow i'm just not realizing that but honey this is a good magnet because it was magnetizing shut okay so i really really like this bag I tend to wear her when I want to pop a color. I just posted a picture on Instagram in this bag. So if you don't follow me on there, what are you doing, girl? Go ahead and follow me on there. Okay. Mm, the girl be giving the looks, okay? But 
yeah i really like this bag i get a lot of compliments when i wear it um i only want one other bag this color and it would have to be that blue um but then again i already have a blue so i might go for like that magenta color i saw a girl at um out in atlanta wearing a bag this size this is the medium this isn't even the large y'all okay this is the medium size in top in tail far this is a medium in tail far so the large is giving soup cakes okay i would never go bigger than a medium but like i said i probably would only get one more this size and i would get a black one this size but then again let me show you this black one that i got from tail far so every so often tail far would do a collab i know they did one with ugg and i can't think of who else they did one with but they also did one with east pack so i went ahead and grabbed a bag now they had multiple i kind of wanted the duffel but you know i just didn't feel like spending that much so i went ahead and got the circle bag so this bag honey i grab her a lot too simply because she can be worn as a fanny pack i can carry her like this or i can uh, wear her like across like this but okay and guess what the straps are detachable detachable okay i wish they would take notes with the other stuff okay why it had to be a clad that is detachable let me know but anyways if you open it like this it kind of looks like a cd holder a cd case like from back in the day y'all young girls don't know nothing about that okay but baby i used to have my cds in the car in my mama's so this bag though has plenty of space i know you guys can barely see inside but it does have a zipper right here that is pretty far deep i put change in there but there's nothing in there right now then it has like this netting on the inside and another zipper so it's plenty of um different compartments in here so that everything is not just thrown in the bag which i like as well and surprisingly again i can get a lot in here just like i can get a lot in here i know y'all are looking at me crazy like a lot in there girl everything i need for my regular day i just throw it in here i can go okay that's all you need to know now trust me i have bigger bags as you guys can see we'll get into that but these are my smallest bags in my collection at all and they're the ones i go to the most they're the ones i gravitate to the most also the logo in here is red i'm gonna try to pull it up a little so you guys can see i know y'all are like you're manhandling this bag but it's made out of a like like a nylon type of material like i could wear this outside and not worry about it getting dirty type which is also what i like as well because who wouldn't want to wear a tail far out at the park you know but i'm not going to carry this to the park you know because i don't want it to get scuffed up and and dusty okay so i thought this was more practical and it was 110 as to where the big one is 200 and then the little one i believe is 150 i believe don't let me for you okay and just go to the website to figure it out because i can't memorize everything <laughs> but those are all three of my tail bars y'all so i'm just gonna go ahead and put them back in their original packaging okay because your girl don't play when it comes to her tail feces okay all right so my next bag you guys seen in the Shein haul previous to this and it is this green bag like i said in that video i'm not gonna go too much detail into this bag because it's not like you know showstopper but it's still a statement you know a little pop of color woo 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 so i actually think i'm wearing her today because i have to take instagram pictures but regardless love her she was only seven dollars okay we're talking about 150 200 for telfar seven dollars don't sleep on shein because they usually will have all the dupes to all the like trendy pieces that are going on right now like bottega and chanel and stuff like that but like i said I really like this bag. She's just a little scrunchy green bag, nothing major, but we had to feature her, okay? We had to feature her. These next three bags coming up kind of share a similar theme, okay, when it comes to bags, but they are like the quilted look, okay? So I told you guys before, like, I'm very good with dupes and replicas okay so i will get something that gives me that same feel of a designer like as far as the look and the structure of the bag but then i also will buy a replica so if it literally says chanel on it okay 
and it looks good, I'm gonna buy it. Like I'm not, I don't want y'all to think that when my Chanel bag comes that it's real because I'm not there yet, okay? So it's not gonna be in this video, so you guys gotta stay tuned. It's gonna be in the vlog coming up because um, it just shipped from China, but <laughs> baby, I'll give you guys all the tea on that, okay? But like I said, these coming up are dupes okay so it's gonna give you the feel of a chanel or that kind of structure but it doesn't say chanel on it it doesn't claim to be chanel i'm not gonna tag chanel on it even when i get my replica i'm not gonna tag chanel on it but it still gives you that luxury type of feel for an affordable price okay so this first one that i got for that feel is from amazon this is how it looks get into it get into it yeah get into it ain't she nice like wow she like i'm talking about right now i think that her and my gray telfar are my favorite bags right now i am just so in love with this bag like and she's picking up the correct color on camera she is this beautiful maroon burgundy color structured very nice and i got like i said i got it from amazon it doesn't have any loose threads no damage nothing okay and it gives the feel of the chanel but you know no cc's on it nobody claims to be chanel okay i love this bag so much and that's how i know that one day when i am able to get a chanel bag like look i can get any bag i want but if i cannot buy it what is it two or three times i don't want to go ahead and splurge on it because that money could go to somewhere else so this little number was 30 dollars on amazon okay check the link in my description box okay so it has one of these turn clasps and then you open it and this is how it looks on the inside really nice this is gray hardware like I said y'all I'm not a big gold hardware kind of girl and then on the inside it just has two openings no pockets and then it just has a zipper in the middle for you to like stuff stuff in like um, you know cards and stuff like that but yeah right now I just have my passport some lip gloss some receipts in my card holder this is the card holder that be going to my tail far y'all okay this is it but yeah and then i have my passport right here so yeah i love this bag y'all i carry her even if she doesn't match <laughs> like yesterday i had on navy blue a whole navy blue monochrome outfit and i had her on just because like a little pop of color just because a little pizzazz she just looks so luxe like she's so like amazon doesn't fail me i bought my best friend one in white let me show you how it sits on me okay just giving the girls it's giving the girls what needs to be gave okay she's giving she's giving she's giving like look at that girl bye i love her y'all link in the bio I mean, link in the bio. Look at me. Link in the description box, okay? Link in the description box. Like, oh, I just love her. I bought my best friend a white one for her birthday. No, for Christmas. It's giving what it needs to have game, okay? So let me go into my next bag. Again, staying on the quilted theme, we have a bag from Fashion Nova. This one I haven't even worn yet, okay? I have not even worn it yet. Which is, it just blows my mind. I haven't worn it yet. So this is how this bag looks. I think I featured it in the collective haul. I'm not sure. But this is how this bag looks. Now on the back of this one, it has um, a pocket back here. Again, the same type of opening. So you twist it. This one has gold accessories. So I guess I could wear it today if I go out. <laughs> I have some errands to run, but I was going to push it to tomorrow. But hey. So if you open it like this, this is how it looks. It did come with tissue paper on the inside. And this one is a little more loose. It's not as structured as this bag is. As you can see, like this bag is like very much structured, very much not collapsing. This bag is more so loose feel. You throw everything in, you just 
everything can collapse as you can see it's not as structured as the last bag but still a good bag i was inspired by diera's um bag i'll put it on the screen she has the black one the black chanel that is this big okay or it might even be a little bit bigger but i like this one this one was on fashion nova on the inside it has pockets i'm trying to do it so you guys are able to see so on the inside it has two pockets here for like your phone cards anything like that if i remove the stuffing you guys will be able to see like how deep this bag goes it's a very decent size okay it's giving try to stuff some extra stuff that won't fit in your carry-on in here and it also has a zipper here as you guys can see a zipper here two pockets it's just it's everything i ever wanted <laughs> anyway so this is how it looks i'll put the stuff in back in girl because i don't i really don't play when it comes to my bags i know y'all think y'all probably might think i manhandle my bags based on what you see but no i take very good care of my purses like i love it and then it has the chain but then it also has the fabric i kind of wish it was just double the chain but because it's so big i'm sure that if i stuff this with stuff i would want the cloth for more support on my shoulder so that all that weight isn't on it but yeah y'all this is the bag and i love her ah! all right so this next bag it used to be my favorite bag oh my god before i got that um burgundy one this bag still has my heart because it was my first actual like name brand purse i believe like last year when i did the collective haul i had just a whole bunch of dupes a whole bunch of dupes i did have one steve madden bag prior to this however um i want to say that yeah, it was a Steve Madden bag. It was from TJ Maxx. This one is a Steve Madden bag as well. However, I guess then this isn't my first designer bag because I've had a Michael Kors bag. Michael Kors, Steve Madden are the only two bags that I've had before. This is also a Steve Madden bag, but y'all, I love this bag so much. Let me just stop gassing it and show y'all already. I know y'all are like, girl, show us. Show us the bag. This is her. This is her. <laughs> okay, yo. This is from Steve Madden. As you can tell, I wore this bag because she has some little loose stitching, just a little bit. Like it's not dramatic, dramatic, but um, then you can see some wear on the buckle, the harness, whatever you want to call it, y'all. I love this bag. Now she is a mixed metals bag, so she has silver and gold hardware okay and it's just this nice mm, nude this is not really nude it's giving caramel yeah caramel caramel however you pronounce it um bag now i wear her when i have gold on even though she has gold and silver because i just feel like when you introduce gold like especially this kind of antique kind of gold um it just overpowers it, gives it a more luxe feel. So I wear this when I have ghost accessories on. Um, on the back of this, it does also have a pocket, which goes pretty deep. It says Steve Madden all inside. I just love the look at this bag. And if y'all know, I can't remember which Chanel bag is quilted and fluffy like this, but I do know that it is inspired by a Chanel bag. Um, it says Steve Madden on the lock part here and as well as the SM right here on the actual lock. So when you open it up, this is how it's looking. And then if you open it, it says Steve Madden all throughout and you have this zipper right here. Oh, I was looking for this earring. Chop. <laughs> it has this zipper right here and then it just says Steve Madden all throughout. I do have a little bit of stuff in here because this is a very worn bag, but you know still in good condition um it also has two pockets just like the last one from fashion over that i haven't worn yet it has the two pockets here and then it just goes in depth i got some junk in there but y'all i love this bag like she means so much to me i would never get rid of her i'm thinking about getting it um they have another one on the website like in a 
you know when you like touch sequins and it does one color and then swipe it down and it does another they have one like that so I'm thinking about getting one like that just for the springtime just to be a little bit more fun because this is very much giving Sunday dinner going out with the girls type of vibe but I want one that's like oh day party type of vibe so I will be going back on the Steve Madden website to find one but I love this bag y'all I love her love her love her and she really gives what needs to be gave she has the Steve Madden on the side here okay you can hold it like this and just let the um, chain hang or you can remove the strap altogether y'all know I like that you can remove the strap altogether if I can show you you can remove the strap I never remove the strap I just like it to hang there but you can detach the strap completely and just wear her like this it's giving still it's still giving okay and sometimes if I do like stuff this bag I will wear her like on the shoulder and she falls right at the um, waist so love this bag I hope y'all love it too oh my gosh she's just so great she's like little toffee candy mm. <laughs> I know y'all are probably like this girl like is in love with her purses like she's talking to them she's kissing them she's insane but no that just lets y'all know like I really do like these pieces and I do take I have a purse obsession I do I mean the first step is to admit that you have a problem <laughs> okay so this next bag is my biggest bag other than my tail farm okay um i got it from the outlets in orlando and it is this blue michael kors tote i forgot the exact name she's in perfect condition i don't play about her okay but i forgot the name but she was on sale she was originally like 323 and i got her for 126 i believe so ain't she a beauty she's huge like she really is almost the same size as the tail far but she's more um tall and then the tail far is more wide so i would say like the tail far is like right here in size but then out here in width um but this is how the michael kors one looks and again it has re removable a removable crossbody strap option but you can wear her like across or straight up and down. I think that this would be cute if you're like going to class and you have like your iPad, stuff like that, but you wanna go like in style. It was hard to find this um, purse online. Like when I was in the outlets, the Orlando Premium outlets, cause y'all know I'm from Florida. Well, y'all might not know I'm from Florida. So I go often to visit family, but I mean, I don't know. I walked in the store and she was like, grab me, grab me. So I had to. Then I bought my sister a uh, Michael Kors purse, but she's more into the small purse. So I was like, no, like this is giving Serena. You have to get it. So I did. Then y'all know it has silver hardware. So you already know. I have plenty of stuff in here. It's very, very deep. Okay, plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff in there. Here's my vlog camera y'all that I was talking to y'all about earlier, but I have plenty of stuff in here. It has just the standard two pockets and a zipper type of setup in there. Y'all see all my stuff. <laughs> um, and here's the tag. Here's the original tag right here. Oh, that's what it's called. A Kenley. A Kenley bag. It's called a Kenley bag. It was $398 originally and I got it for $126 child you already know how to grab her she's mine anyways i love her every time i wear her i get compliments like oh my god what kind of bag is that what kind of bag is that so here's the tea y'all y'all getting all the tea i love her i love her oh my god i felt so luxe coming out with my michael kors bag in the outlet wow i wish that feeling on everybody okay okay look well, i have to peek around the bag just for y'all to see my little head all right, this is my last bag. This is my also my newest bag. My last bag and my newest bag is from Amazon. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with no Amazon. Y'all already know. <laughs> I'm addicted to Amazon. I just like ordering stuff and it coming the next day or the same day. I'm so spoiled. If I order off of another website, I have to get 
next day shipping because what? Why would I want to wait two weeks when Amazon can bring it to me tomorrow? I'm done with my rant. So this is supposed to be a dupe to the Balenciaga bag that everybody's raving about. And this is how my purse look. And it cute. She is cute. She was $40 or whatever. And she is big. And y'all know I like big bags, honey bags, tele bags. Okay, <laughs> can I relax? I went to Lennox with my boyfriend yesterday and grabbed the real version of the Balenciaga bag. This, and he was like, oh no, I like your the ones that you have at home. I see why you went on Amazon. Yes, because I only care about the look of the bag. I really could care less about the name of the bag. I'm more into the structure of the bag, how much it can hold, all that, the details. Like, this is full of silver. Y'all already know it was calling my name. I was just scrolling on Amazon like, mm, Balenciaga bag, Amazon bag, this is how it fits, y'all. And I be wearing her like this. I be doing my thing, thing, doing my thing. Okay. And everyone's like, oh my God, look at your bag. I'm like, thanks, girl, Amazon. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. If you didn't really like know like big designers, like I feel like I would gravitate toward the bag anyway. Like I've seen the bag and I was like, I feel like I can find that bag like in the thrift store or like literally. Burlington <laughs> like so I just went in and got it off Amazon because your girl though I ain't, I got a lot of stuff I can be paying for okay but she's giving what she needs to have gave okay okay and she has plenty of stores like all these zippers open and I'm not doing all that this if y'all open this this as y'all can see it has a zipper here a zipper here like it's so many compartments in this bag, like, and then on the sides, the pockets are real. Like, I was losing stuff. I was losing stuff in the bag. I was like, oh, that's where my AirPods were. Good gracious. <laughs> like, but yeah, I love this bag. I love it, 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 love it. She's my new one. But you already know we're gonna have to do a part two to this because I gotta have more stuff coming in the mail. Ah! <laughs> So yeah, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all my purses for my 2022 collection. Obviously, I need like a yellow bag, a purple bag, a red. I don't even have a red bag, y'all. I don't have a red bag. What was I thinking? Like, here I am shopping mentally as I'm just now showing y'all all these purses that I'm hoarding. Like, <laughs> There's a problem, but that's okay, because they're cute, bro. <laughs> a girl has to have her jewelry, her lip gloss, and her purses, okay? Period, period. So that'll be all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you guys have any bags or plan on shopping any of these bags that I showed you guys today, or which one was your favorite? Yeah, or if you like videos like this, let me know. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.